Hi friends, Christine Tony with Essentially Styled. Today I'm going to kind of walk you through how I refresh day two curly hair. So my hair is naturally curly. In most of my tutorials, you have seen me where I've blown it out and curled it or very few um, have I gone naturally curly. So I'm, as I've gotten older, my hair has gotten even curlier. So I'm embracing, I'm not going all the way. I'm not um, strict curly girl method, but I do use some of the techniques um, of the curly girl method when I do want my hair naturally curly. So yesterday I put in mousse and some cur uh, curling cre curl cream and scrunched it, let it completely dry and then scrunched the crunch out and it looked very pretty and I used just a half back. It was like a good curl day, um, even at the roots. So I do plop and all those things. So you can search if you want more information on the curly girl method, you can search that. Um, there's tons of tutorials out there on that and I am probably not going to be the one that's going to be the best to help you with that. And I'm not one that knows whether I've got what kind of porosity. Um, I'm still learning myself with that, um, but I'm not strict curly girl. But if I do take the time to do all that, I try and get a couple days out of it. I usually only wash my hair every three to four days. So um, this is day two. So I yesterday wore it down. I usually wear it down the first day I do my hair. Um, and so I'm gonna shoot for a half back um, a little bit later. So this is what I sleep in. This is how I sleep. I loosely wound my hair up um, and I put it toward the top of my head with a swerve. So that way it doesn't interfere. And I do you with the bun um, and I do use a silk pillowcase. I cannot recommend a silk pillowcase enough. Satin's okay, but silk is so much better. And I'll leave a link for our um, satin or our silk mulberry leaf pillowcase that is just super soft and luxurious. It's a great price point and I love it. Um, it's great for your skin and for your hair. So I will leave a link to that below. But I sleep in this every night, whether I have curled my, straightened my hair, curled my hair, or gone naturally curly. I sleep in the swerve with the bun on top of my head. Oops, I just stuck it in again. So I'm going to just loosely unwind and shake out those curls and see what I've got this morning. So you can see, I mean, that kind of kept those curls in intact. So now I'm just going to need to refresh some, especially where I've got the kind of the cow lick in the back. So what I have have today um, for refreshing is just a water bottle. And this is one of those, um, oh, I don't know what you call them, like almost like aerosol uh, spray. This is a doTERRA one. I can link this one down below as well. Just happens to be purple. Um, but I'm just going to um, put a little bit of water back into it that I'm gonna to use with, in combination, my rose water. Um, and if you haven't tried the rose water, oh, it is good for so many things. It's great for refreshing. It's great for your skin and face. If you know anything about essential oils, rose water is like the queen of oils and it is just fabulous for your skin. So it's great for a, just a, oops, this is a brand new bottle. So I got to get it going there. A face refresh or just freshening up your hair. It's a very subtle, um, it is a real rose scent, but it's very subtle. And it's, I cannot stand the smell of fake roses, uh, fake rose scent, but this is very subtle. Um, and it's the Bulgarian diffused um, or distilled uh, Bulgarian roses. So I do use that and I'm gonna put that, just kind of squeeze that in, especially at the top, if it's looking kind of frizzy. I'll put that in. I am gonna add a little bit of, this is about all I have left. I need to reorder the sea salt spray. Now this can be dry, and if you have really dry hair, um, you can, and I'm gonna go easy on this, but it's great for giving grip or thickness to your hair. If you're using some accessories that are slipping out and you feel like it just needs more grip, the sea salt spray is a great way just to add a little bit more grip to your hair. Surprising how it works. Now I just want this, on, on my bang area so much. 
just to hopefully get it to kind of curl again. Cause that tends to be, especially if I pull it back, what's gonna straighten out the most. So I'm just gonna give it a couple spritzes, don't need to overdo it. And then I'm just gonna kind of scrunch that up. Okay, and it will, as it dries, it kind of, kind of re, uh, recurls that, it kind of livens those up again. And then lastly, I'm gonna use our hair serum, which is a fairly new product. And again, if you haven't tried it, it is amazing. I have seen some amazing transformation and I love it for my, my dry hair. I just squeeze out a whole dropper full, rub it between my fingers. And then again, I'm just going to scrunch. I especially like it on when I've blown out my hair. It just really gives it some shine. I use it to tame my flyaways that tend to go wild. I'm gonna add a little bit more for the side. So just another little, almost full dropper. Oh, but I've got a little bit less hair on this side. And then put it up on the scalp around my roots. I left use up any of that that's left on my fingers. Okay, so then, so I've got that. Now, um, I think that's pretty much it for the, the hair products. Now, I'm going to use our flip, and this is one of the ones that can be flipped either way. I'm gonna put it on its tightest setting. And then I'm just gonna do a half back. This is pretty much what I did yesterday. I'm gonna separate out some from the front. Oh, maybe not that much. It's kind of hard to tell. So that just to have some framing there around my face. And I'm not gonna pull a ton back. And I'm just gonna kind of twist a little bit. But I want my curls to stay in place as much as I can. So I don't wanna manhandle it too much with the curls. But I'm gonna piece that together. And then you can see, oops, I'm gonna make sure I, where my hair separates there naturally, I wanna make sure that that's kinda of covered. But then I'm gonna just collect that little bit of hair. Slip my pin under, flexi over, and then catch the, ha the hair on one of those notches, and that is gonna be very secure. I can pull this out if I wanna add a little volume. You can add a twist to that too if you want even more volume. But I'm still wanting to kinda of keep the curls delicate. Probably should, uh, let me see if I can see what that actually looks like before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got another good day of curls now tomorrow. I'm probably going to go into what I call the, the Tony Tail Pony Tony or Tony Pony or Castle Pony where I swing it up. It's like half fun. And then I refresh those ends again, usually with just water and rose water. Um, I might add a little bit more hair serum on the ends because um, the extra conditioning is always a good thing. So that's just a day two refresh of natural curls. I hope you found it helpful and I will leave links to all of these products below and hopefully they can help you in your own hair journey. Hope you have a great day. Bye.